Hey everyone, what's up? Steam Pro Pro here. All right, and welcome back to another episode of the scripting tutorials. All right, so let me go ahead and show you what you guys are gonna be making. All right, so this script is actually incredibly simple. You want to make a new script, and you want to type in class scene underscore equip. Just like you see right here, you're basically rewriting it. As you can see at the very top here, it's the exact same thing. So you want to copy this, the class scene equip. And then we want to just change a little bit of the definition of slot, or uh, on slot OK. And I think it's kind of more organized if you just kind of make this into a new script instead of going to this script and then modifying it and everything. But uh, if you look at the original, which was right here, the original definition of onslaught OK activates the item window and it selects zero. Basically, what you want to do is, well, first, oops. <laughs> well, first, you want to take a look down here where on on item OK, you see how you have slot window dot activate, slot window dot refresh, unselect the item window and refresh the item window. This is incredibly important because if you don't have these, it will lock up. So basically what you want to do is, I'll go ahead and explain what's going on. Alright, so if you look right here, we're redefining the on slot OK. So we still have the original two, but these only go through if, explanation mark, dollar sign, game underscore switches, case sensitive again, half square things, one, which means if the first game switch is not on, then it will select it like it normally would. You know, you'd be able to select your equipment and all that. Else if the switch is on by doing the same thing but without an explanation mark. Explanation mark means not. So if it is on, it's, it's not going to do this at all. It's just going to completely skip the... Um, the, it's gonna, it's gonna completely skip the item window activation and instead it's going to unselect the item window and then it's gonna refresh the item window and it's going to activate the slot window which is what we're already on and that's pretty much how you do that all you have to do to lock the equipment now is simply turn a switch on and lock equipment if you don't know how to use switches or variables in RPG Maker then I really recommend you start with season 2 uh, SE02 because in that uh, in that episode or in that series or season rather, I completely I explain a lot about I I think I, I explain like all the basics actually. So yeah, um, you turn the switch on to act to activate the lock, and if you want to turn it off, all you have to do is control switches. So you want to turn it off, and let's test that out. So right now we can, we can equip, we can unequip. Now we shouldn't be able to. Do take note that this does apply for every character. Now we should be able to. Again. All right, so I hope this tutorial has helped you guys, and uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys later.